here's some interesting information about Saturn. They have just released some new footage of the auroras on the poles of Saturn. Now, this article was published on Yahoo News 16 hours ago, and it goes on to say that the footage was from April and May last year, and they were analysing the data at the time of these auroras to find that they believe it was the coronal wind stream slamming into the atmosphere of Saturn that caused these auroras to occur due to the friction of these particles. Now, I am not a proponent of the NASA physics and as the NASA physics is continually unable to explain the energy exchange between our sun and us since the 30th of December 2013 when the full magnetic reversal completed, I am not really ready to take any of the information in regards to how NASA believe that the energy is being exchanged between the sun and the surrounding orbs. And we can even see that just under that paragraph, one of the white coats, Jonathan Nichols, goes on to say that Saturn's auroras can be fickle. You may see fireworks, you may see nothing. This translates to they have no idea of why the auroras suddenly occur. And there is a reason that Saturn's auroras are igniting once again. And that is because Saturn is very significant in the connection that we have with our sun and the rest of the celestial orbs that inhabit our part of the universe. And Saturn's interaction in the process that allows these changes to manifest in the material is why it was seen as such a significant planet in the ancient times and why Kronos was such a significant god. And when you can see that there has been a concerted effort to push disinfo about Saturn, you also start to understand that there is a reason for that, and that is because they do not want us looking at information about Saturn. Now, I'm going to show you this new video footage that they've just released. And I wonder if you can see what I can see when you watch this video. Processes at work that we don't quite understand, but factor into the changes that we are now experiencing on our planet. And perhaps this is why 
Saturn is also seen as an important symbol in Freemasonry because this is a Freemason diagram about Saturn showing Saturn as Kronos, the timekeeper, the ethereal timekeeper, the ethereal connection to our divinity, relaying sacred knowledge, foundations crumbling at the end of a cycle but moving up into the ethereal. The sickle also denoting the end of the cycle, the purifying, the shedding of the old to make way for the new. I mean, it's all contained within this symbolism about Kronos. And Kronos also oversaw a golden age because there is a festival called Kronia. And basically... During this festival that was celebrated during the latter part of July and the first part of August, they celebrated by basically exchanging roles and so the masters would become the servants and the servants would become the masters. And it goes on to say that the freedom from work and social egalitarianism enjoyed on the day represented the conditions of a mythical golden age when Kronos still ruled the world. In the golden age, the earth had spontaneously supported human life. Now, the cosmic ray influence on planets has been shown scientifically to spontaneously create life. So I find that interesting that in that mythology that it mentions this process. And then it goes on to say that labour was unneeded and slavery had not existed because this is a part of the cycle where everything is at its illuminated, its most divine... Um, representation. This is when summer returns on a galactic scale. And so again, when you actually look into the truth of Saturn, you can see that there is definitely a reason that those that would seek to suppress this information would want you fearing something that represented a time in mankind's existence where they are at their greatest. Because as far as the establishment, particularly the religious establishment, want us to know about ourselves is that we are just finite, finite disgusting little scum worms born in sin. So this is why people need to educate themselves. This is why knowledge needs to be sought out. This is why when I hear people make statements that knowledge is just something that comes naturally, just it just arrives. No, you must seek knowledge. You must inform yourself. Because there are those out there that do not want you informed about who you are. So, very interesting that we're seeing Saturn's auroras starting to spark up. Now, the other reason I find this interesting is because we can see this also relayed in the ancient texts and the paintings, the Christian mythology paintings, where they show the divine beings with a halo. Now, those that understand the principles of correspondence in regards to hermetic law know that if something can happen on a macrocosm, then it can also occur on a microcosm. And this is why we see 
the kings and queens represented with crowns because the crown is denoting a part of the cycle in which the illumination of the divinity within mankind creates this electrical interaction and this is how they are known to be who they are. However, in lower times of consciousness, we see that the frauds move in and replace with jewels and gold and they put that on their heads instead. And golden money becomes God and golden money becomes divinity and golden money rules the world. And the beast consumes man because they forget their true divinity and they give it up for materialistic riches and ideals. And we can also actually see this in Daniel 12.3. And they that be wise shall, sh shall shine... Sorry, I'll start again. Daniel 12.13. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. And they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. So basically showing a connection to the stars and the righteousness and the firmament shining brightly, the wise. So this is just more confirmation for me that we are seeing definite changes on a larger macrocosm and these changes support what the ancient knowledge and the ancient information has been relaying to us. So, anyway, I will post these articles underneath. And, as always, peace out.